They came in their thousands, calling for an end to deaths in custody. And now one of the country's most eminent Indigenous leaders is calling out a lack of political will. There is no acknowledgement of this problem by the politicians and no effort to retrain the police force to stop them from killing us. Marcia Langton has been at the forefront of national debate on Indigenous issues for decades. The legal service will be going into... A regarded anthropologist and revered community leader, she was recognised today with the Queen's birthday honour, using the occasion to speak out about the more than 400 deaths in custody since the Royal Commission. There have been no convictions, no convictions of any police officer ever for killing or assaulting Aboriginal people. The Minister for Indigenous Australians weighed in but says it's also an issue for the states. The trouble is the jails are, in all reality, managed by states and territory jurisdictions, but collectively as leaders there are things that we need to revisit. The government needs to relook at the recommendations um, as do all governments across the country. So far, there's been mostly silence from state leaders on any reforms, with debate focused on whether protesters should have been there at all. Today, doctors had a message for those that chose to show up. Look at the option of isolating themselves from the rest of the community for that next two-week period. Yeah! The crowds this weekend may have been an unparalleled show of public support, but the response from the state and federal governments is yet to match the rallying cries. Still, Indigenous communities remain hopeful. Isabella Higgins, ABC News.